Hi, oh YouTube! My name is Dexter, and welcome to this Friday special edition of Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, if you want to know the long and short of it, Danger Darkness Dwarves. You work in a blue collar mining union called the Deep Rock Galactic as a dwarf. You are sent to a planet called Hoxies 4 to mine its valuables, I guess. And I gotta say, I love this game. I love this game a whole hell of a lot. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a, I don't want to call it a review, just, just a, I guess, overview, um, of it. Uh, long and short, is good. It's, it's a damn good game. Um, you can play as one of four classes, you can swap between them at any point in time that you want. They all do something different. There's the Engineer, which is what I'm going to be playing today. Uh, Gunner, Scout, and the, uh, Driller. Uh... Normally they don't look like this, but you know, I like my costumes that I have. Each different dwarf has a different loadout that is unique to them, such as the engineer starting with a shotgun. Uh, can I, oh, I can just swap over to this. Sweet. Um, the engineer has a shotgun and a grenade launcher. You can unlock other weapons for them. You can get a little SMG and a plasma cannon that I don't know what exactly it's supposed to do, but I have one. Um, I, I just like the... For this, the engineer, at the very least, I like what he starts with. Um, every dwarf also has unique uh, support tools, mobility options, and grenades. Um, the engineer's unique is or support tool is a sentry gun. It's just a little, just a little platform. It's a little gun turret. Um, I like using the uh, LMG Mark II. It's longer range, more damage, and. Uh, uh, greater ammo capacity. The other one that you could take to start with is Gemini System, where you get two of them. <coughs> Excuse me, you get more ammo, but they deal less damage overall. Or you get two turrets, they have more ammo. They deal less damage overall, but you have two of them. Um, <clears throat> he also has a platform gun, which does exactly what it sounds like. You shoot it, it creates a platform. Um, a whole bunch of fun things to do with it. Uh, you can build sky bases, you can build bridges, you can do anything that you want, and his grenade that I'm going to be using, I mean, he starts with a lure, which just draws enemies to it, a plasma burster, which is just a, uh, you throw it, it explodes four times in a row, and a uh, proximity mine, which is my favorite, because it does exactly what I want it to do, which is help me control areas, because that's what the engineer is really good at when you have a gun that shoots at things automatically for you. Um, if you want to choose a mission, you go to this thing and choose whatever mission you might want to do. I'm I'm currently uh, doing a just just a random mission. Um, I am currently working on getting a, another gun for the driller called the Cryo Cannon. I don't really want to do that mission right now though. Um, there's also the Abyss Bar, which is my favorite part of this entire game, and I'm gonna show you my favorite drink in this as soon as I get the Slayer Stout because I like the Slayer Stout. It's fun. It's good. I like it. Oh, boy. Um, the daily special, which is what I've just ordered, is the only drink in here that gives you a special boost of any variety. It gives you a buff. The Slayer Stout increases the rate at which your, uh, melee power attack recharges. So you just chug it, and bam, away you go. I've got a buff now. Slayer Stout! Quality beer bottled with something. I didn't get to read it. But my favorite beer in this entire game is the Blackout Stout, and I will show you why. He said it better than I could possibly do it. This thing just shuts you off. The blackout stout, you just get it just shuts you off. Uh the reason its handle is a brass knuckle is very, very on the nose. Knock me out with a blackout stout. I have not I'm not touching anything, by the way. This is just what happens when you drink this beer. If you get too drunk, you get double, triple vision, you start staggering around. Blackout stout just shuts you down. It is a knockout in a drink. And then you wake up in here. <laughs> and it's my favorite drink in this entire game. Because that's all it does. It's just, hey, who wants to get knocked the fuck out? But alright, enough dicking around. Let's actually get into the mission. Um, I like rolling the dice for some luck. And then I go sit in my, my seat. And down we go. Rock and stone, boys. That is the that is the rallying cry of the Deep Rock Galactic. Rock and stone. But yeah, uh, just you select a mission, you go out, you do the mission, you go back. Every mission has a side objective that you can complete. This particular one is collecting a pocket balloon, I think it said. And it says it on that terminal on the right side, right next to the dice. Um, a pocket balloon. Yep. These little plants in front of me. You gotta collect these little doodads. Um, <clears throat> so this particular mission is an egg hunt. I like he—he's gonna say it better than I can. 
Exactly what he said. Go get some go get some minerals. Go get some eggs. Go collect some minerals. Shoot the bugs. Um Not much else to say about uh what the actual like gameplay loop is. It's just you go to a cave, it's dark as shit, you collect the things, and then you leave when you get all the things done. It's not even usually it's not always collect the thing, sometimes it's murder the thing. Um, sometimes it's, uh, go pump some oil. It's, there, there's a, a laundry list of things to do. And it's a lot of fun. It gets a ton more fun with more friends. Um, you have a limited carrying capacity for the different minerals. Um, you can carry as many of them as you can find, but you're only limited to a certain amount. I have an upgrade for my saddlebags that just makes my saddlebags deeper, larger, whatever you want to call it. Um, the gold that I've collected is just money. Ugh, excuse me, this red stuff here called nitra is very important. It has no monetary value, but it is one of the most important minerals in this entire game. Because it lets you call in resupply drops, which your ammo is not unlimited. I have 115, or 115 shotgun shells in reserve. I'm going to be using them eight at a time, and I'm going to run out a hell of a lot faster than I expect. Because that's just how it works. That's just how it be. Um, oh, cool. I'm exploded. There's a bunch of different types of bugs, too. Um, there's regular grunts. There's three variations of regular grunts. There's the gl glyphid grunts, the slasher grunts, and the guard grunts. Um, there's larger bruisers called Praetorians that are just, they just take a punch, they just take a beating, that's their entire job description. Um, oh, there's this thing, a spitball infector, which just kind of hangs out, um, and spits stuff at you. If you see these little globs on the ground, uh, you're near a spitball infector. Um, <clears throat> there's, uh, larger, or there's more specialized versions of the bugs. There's, uh, things called menaces, which just hang out on walls and ceilings at a distance and rapid-fire spray gunk at you. Oh, I thought I heard, uh, some music is why I stopped my thought there. Um, there's also really big bosses that will show up during, um, either specific missions that re request you go kill them called dreadnoughts and there's a bunch of different types of dreadnoughts there was an update very recently to this video being recorded um i think it was february oh there's a uh, there's a, a, a praetorian um but if you play alone like i do a lot of the, pretty much all the time you get a little friend named bosco the apd um autonomous personal drone i think it stands for he just he's just your best friend that's all he is. He does everything you ask him to do. He is the greatest teammate I've ever had. Because he does exactly what I tell him to, without question or quarrel. He just does the thing. And it's fantastic. I love him to bits. But I guess I should probably, you know, make use of the one thing that makes the engineer the engineer, which is my turret. I just need to find a good spot to set it up. Um, Because I don't really want to do most of the fight myself. I like outsourcing all of my, uh... All of my hard work to other things. Um, and the engineer is pretty decent at that. I have a talent on him, a, a perk point on him, that just I can take over glyphid grunts. Um, if I were so inclined, it doesn't matter what kind of grunt it is, I can just, I can hold the E button, the interact button on them, and I will get them as an ally. Um, I will go store this in Molly. Um, but the different areas that you go to also have different resources available to you. Um, the secondary objectives are just random, they're just chosen at random, but the... Oh, well, mm, here come the bugs. The important ones are what the, um, the different areas have available to you to collect. Um, this place called the Salt Caverns has a resource underneath my feet called Eeyore Pearls. And this is what makes the engineer so special. Like, my, my, my little turret here, he does good work. I do have to reload him from a, an ammo reserve, but you know what? He gets the job done. Because he does most of my work for me. Because he has longer sight ranges, he's guaranteed to hit them, and he has faster fire rate. But, um... Oh, right, yeah. forgot. He explodes in gas. The Praetorians, whenever you kill them, will explode into whatever elemental... Uh, or whatever hazardous environment you happen to find yourself in. There's three different Praetorians that I've... that I know about. Um, there's the basic Praetorians, the Frost Praetorians, and the Radioactive Praetorians, which all do pretty much the same thing, just with a different flavor. 
Um, the Frost Praetorians, when they die, they spew freezing gas, which slows you down if you let the... Uh, I don't want that Blicky Grudge Nerd, actually. Come be my friend, big man. Alright, there, I no longer have to do much. Or rather, I have to do as much. That thing's still fighting me. Um, <clears throat> But I always want more gold. No matter what I'm doing, I'm always looking for gold. Because money is important. And working for a union... I don't want to say it doesn't pay well, because I know it does, but that's not what I mean. I like how I just said I picked up some nitro, but I didn't actually pick up any nitro. Um, How's my turret doing on ammo? My turret has 35 rounds in it remaining. Let's fill that back up, shall we? There we go. But this is uh, the other thing that makes the engineer the engineer. My platform gun just does exactly what it says on the tin. It is a gun that shoots platforms. And the upgrades that I have on it just give me more platforms to make and reduced fall damage if I land on a platform. So, I, if I had landed on this platform, I wouldn't have just lost some of my shields there. Um, but, like I said at the start, I can make bridges, but I guess I don't really need to right now. I can just run up here and collect this Apocabloom. I can also call my sentry gun back to me whatever the hell I want, as long as it's on the ground. Enemies cannot destroy it, it can only run out of ammo. Um, hey look, it's Abysmore, I need this. <coughs> and this is the other resource, I don't want to say unique to the Salt Caverns, but it's it, it's what you can get out of the out of this place. You get Enor Pearls and Bismore in here. Let's go find another egg, shall we? Oh, right in front of me. Excellent. And dunk that in there, and let's go find some more Apocabloom. There's one right there. Um, oh, more Eno Pearl underneath me. Sweet. Um, I don't like that rolling sound I just heard. I'm gonna go down this way. I don't like that growl either. Well, I'm, uh, I'm down here now. I don't know where here is, but I'm down here. We're in it. We're in it to win it, boys. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna keep going. Um, but there's a whole bunch of resources to collect that just show up at random. The one that I'm always looking out for, outside of gold or beyond gold is stuff called barley bulbs which i don't expect to find any in here but if i do i'll point it out rather i won't have to it's bright red and it's pretty easy to spot uh because it it actually glows it is it is for lack of better description bioluminescent um and i don't know why well i do know why they want you to know it's there because these caves i don't know if you can tell or not but they're dark as shit because you know there's no light down here now, let's go find some more Apocabloom. Oh, there's one right there. And there's an egg. Um, let's go make a bridge, how about? Let's go make a sky bridge. Come on, get over there. And by sky bridge, I just mean I'm gonna shoot a bunch of platforms. On each other. And there, we got a bridge. Uh, interesting to note about, uh... Oh, well, mm-hmm. Interesting to note, or one thing to note about, uh solid platforms in this game is that if you delete both connectors the center of whatever it is or if you delete its uh, connection to the ground whatever it is falls apart see kind of like that now my bug there is just kind of hanging out in the sky good job steve i didn't realize you could fly that thing's about to catch a grenade the engineer's secondary weapon for whatever reason is just a grenade launcher and I love it to bits. I love it to bits, but I don't understand why I have a shotgun and a grenade. I've got a I've got a blunder well it's not even a blunderbuss. I have I'm gonna call it a blunderbuss and a noob tube. I love it though. This grenade launcher is my favorite gun. Yeah, my favorite gun in this entire game. The gunner's heavy revolver is a f very close second, but this grenade launcher, <clears throat> it does things for me. I pointed at a crowd of enemies, that crowd of enemies no longer exists. Which I'm surprised I haven't been attacked by a swarm yet. I'm, I may have just jinxed it, but I'm pretty sure... I, I hope, beyond hope, that I'm not going to get attacked by any swarm. But uh, the last thing I'll say about this is that... About Deep Rock is... Playing it alone, kind of... I don't want to say tedious, because that makes it sound bad. Um, it's slower paced if you play it alone, but that's pretty much all I do. Because my friends aren't ever... I don't want to say they aren't ever. They're never on when I'm on. Or uh, Let me rephrase that. They never... How do I word this? I don't even know what the word I'm trying to look for is. Um, I just play it alone. I end up playing it alone a lot. Um, but, you know, while you're playing alone, like I said, you got Bosco to do pretty much everything else for you that everybody else could. Um, 
<clears throat> All you gotta do is tell Bosco what to do, and he'll go get it done. Or at least attempt to get it done. Um, be that mine some ores, like I could just click on that and tell him he'll go get it. He'll just float over to it. Or I could tell him to go light up an area for me, or light an area near where I mark, um, with his little laser pointer. Uh, it's pretty great, it's pretty great. He does everything. Um, and I would love to know where the last of this Apocabloom is. Oh, I already have, okay, never mind, I don't need to go find anymore, I'm dumb. I should, you know, read more often. There we go, secondary objective complete. And I'm just gonna turn in a bunch of Nitra, um, get swarmed. Boss, I need help. Steve doesn't really seem to be doing his job very well, which is what my bug is called. Every single bug that you take over, for whatever reason, is called Steve. I'm not against it, I just don't get it. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. And there goes the Praetorium. Alright, now let's go collect some more eggs, shall we? I've put that off for long enough. These little hives are pretty easy to spot. Where are you at, Molly? Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I didn't want to hear, but you know what? We're going. We're just gonna go hang out at the bottom of this place. I'm gonna throw down my turret right about here, and just pray. Um... I am kind of low on ammo, though. I'm gonna throw down my grenades, and just hope. <clears throat> yeah, I'm aware. Bring it on, boys. Bonk. I love, I love this grenade launcher. Shoving grenades down bugs' throats is always gonna be fun to me. Bam! And causing them to be stunned because the impact is so painful. I love it. I love it to bits. Steve, you're looking a little worse for wear there, Chief. Bosco, go get it. <coughs> and those explosive bugs that just keep kind of showing up, those bright orange dudes. Um, if you shoot them anywhere, if you shoot them wherever, they'll detonate on the spot. If you blast them in the mouth, they don't get to detonate. And I don't understand why. Like this little dude right here? My turret shot him about three times and he detonated. If you shoot him in the mouth, he just dies. There is an upgraded version of those uh, detonators that I don't really want to come across called a bulk detonator. And... Oh, good. Bulk detonators are scary. And there's two distinct variations of bulk detonators. There's the classic detonator and then the Crassus detonator. Um, and I always want to see Crassus detonators. I never want to see a classic detonator. Um, and the reason is simple. The bulk detonator only delivers pain and torment. The Crassus detonator delivers pain, torment, and a fucking astronomical payday. Um, oh, well, mm, there go my legs. I didn't realize that was quite the fall, or as far as a fall. But, uh, if you ever go down, playing alone, Bosco can revive you twice. There's an upgrade you can take to make him up, or re re revive you three times, but I swapped that out, uh, very recently for faster mining speed. Now, where is... How am I gonna get to... Is there, is there an egg in there? There is not. There's an egg up above me, though, in that wall, right there. Okay. So I know where I'm going. Roughly. Uh, I just need to figure out how to get over Oh, well, I know exactly how to get over there. Sort of. Bear with me. Uh, I'm gonna have to stare at that little PDA. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. So I know where I'm going. Going this way. Oh, I guess I didn't... Okay, I shouldn't have broken my little bridge then. Whoops, I made a mistake. Okay, well. There we go. Get back up here, Molly. I need you. Yoink. <laughs> Gib egg. Thanks, Molly. And we're done here. This was a very short mission, which is why I chose it for this particular episode, for this particular video. I just wanted to talk about Deep Rock, because I love it a whole hell of a lot. It was updated very recently, um, added in some new enemies to fight, um, that unfortunately did not spawn here, but you know what, at the same time, I'm kind of glad they didn't. Um... <clears throat> Uh, they also introduced two new biomes called the Azure Wield and the, uh, uh, Hollow Bow. Um, but we're just gonna leave. I'm gonna call on my sentry turret, and we're just gonna go. Uh, the end of the missions, you gotta call 
or rather, as soon as you, uh, as soon as you complete whatever the objective was, the mule will have a button that shows up on its back. You press, you hold the button. It'll call in a drop pod, and then it will take off to the drop pod. The thing about Deep Rock, they have no qualms leaving you behind. If you're not in that extraction pod in five minutes or less, they will leave your stupid ass behind, and it will count as a mission failed. Even if you did everything else you were supposed to do. Which, you know, kind of sucks, but hey, such is the life of such a dangerous unionized worker. And I'm really annoyed that detonators feel the need to spawn in here. But the other thing about Molly is that she will always take the shortest path to the extraction zone. To the drop pod, which kind of sucks for me because I can't really keep pace with her because she climbs walls and I can't. I can, however, explode. <coughs> but this is the drop pod. Uh, I believe she's already in. Yep. If you manage to beat Molly to the drop zone or the drop pod, which isn't hard to do, the front gate here won't be open. It'll only open after Molly gets inside it. But there we go. That is Deep Rock Galactic in a nutshell. You go into Hoxie's 4, you mine your way into Hoxie's 4, you collect everything that you can find, stuff into Molly, you do your objective, you hit the button, you leave, and you go back and do it again until you're bored. Which, for me, takes quite a while because there's always something to do and it's always going to be fun. But I'm going to call this an episode. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, but if not, to carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I will see you all next week with another Friday special. So I hope you all enjoyed this, I hope you enjoy your weekend, and I'll catch you all on Monday. Bye, everybody. It's been a ton of fun.